dope. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man. Victor, Victor Conti and Devin Haney clap back at Javante Davis, making excuses on, you know, why, uh, you know, why Devin Haney, you know, Basically, Javante would make excuses not to fight Devin Haney. So, basically, you know, Javante, I did a video on it uh, Thursday. It went up Thursday. Basically, Javante Davis was saying that, uh, uh, you know, Devin Haney needs to be tested because he worked with Snack. Snack got caught cheating. Eddie Hearn, let, you know, was going to let Connor Ben fight. Why he popped high. And, you know, basically, Rick Conti basically said that, you know, Devin Haney, Snack was about close 20 years ago. Devin Haney been working with him for the past 10 fights and all that. Devin Haney brought up Mario Barrios was with Snack. What's the issue? Um, and also, he responded to people saying that um, he, you know, was a weight bully coming in at 165. He got leaked by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, but you don't see them leaking out Canelo rehydration clause. Don't nobody bring up shit about when Canelo. Uh, for Amir Khan. Amir Khan said Canelo was a cruiserweight. That's at least almost 200 pounds. Nobody talk about Earl Spence uh, weight bullying his opponents. You know what I'm saying? We can go on and on and on again. Tank, just, you know, and uh, Devin Haney called Tank a pussy. And I don't disagree with that. He is. You got to call a spade a spade, bro. Y'all just can't say, well, this spade look a little bit funny, so we're going to give him a benefit of the doubt. That's what it is. He's scared to fight. And he said, oh, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't going to be satisfied to, who I do, to, you know, what I do to little dog, little bro. I'm going to do him something. Hey, for you to beat somebody ass, man, you actually got to fight him. You actually got to get in the ring and rumble. So that's, that's, that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much my thing. Like you talking about what you always talking about, what you going to do. And then it don't get done because you ain't trying to fight dog. So. You know, at the end of the day, it's always going to be excuses. You already fought somebody on Snack and Wolves. The excuse with Mario Barrios. It wasn't one. At all. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, that's exactly what he is, bro. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, well, nobody say nothing. Mikey was on Snack and Earl got the job done. So, it's a lot of hypocrisy around here. And, you know, whatever reason people don't like Devin, if it's because... A bill marketing his son and they taking everything bill saying literally you know that's what he's supposed to do a closed mouth not gonna get fed you know Devin Haney has took more risk than Javante Davis had in his career Javante took one risk and that was versus Jose Pedraza who didn't even really win that belt over Edgar Cherry uh, Edgar Cherry really won that fight in my opinion all right but nonetheless it's, it's excuses and excuses and you got some people saying you know well, Devin Haney's a weight bully, and Tank not that big. Look at Tank's, Tank's arm reach. And I even hear one nigga complain when guys is fighting Paul Williams, Tommy Hearns, Felix Trinidad, Oscar De La Hoya, all these big motherfuckers, man. If you can make the weight, ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. When Earl Spence is going around doing it, these same people that's protecting Tank didn't have nothing to say about it. When Canelo do it, ain't nobody had nothing to say about Canelo Alvarez doing it. That, that's my main point. That's my main point. Ain't nobody got nothing to say about that shit. You know, where I put a rehydration clause, it got big right in there. But Tank Park middleweights. They say Tank Park middleweights. If you don't know the slang, Tank knockout middleweights. What's the problem getting in the ring and fighting Devin Haney? Oh, he can't punch. He can't do this. He can't. Okay, what's the Okay, fight him. These whole ass fighters handicapping other fighters because they don't have no confidence. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. You ain't see, I'll give credit to Lomachenko. He didn't even want to handicap Orlando Salido after he, he missed weight. He still fought Salido at the weight he came in at. He fought big ass Nakatani. I be telling y'all, having height and reach ain't no advantage today because they don't know how to use the height and reach. Y'all be looking at height and reach as an advantage, okay? If it's so much of an advantage, why the fuck did Fondora get knocked the fuck out? Ain't nobody say nothing about Rafael Espinosa and Rabizzi Ramirez. 
Rodrigo Ramirez is a six-one featherweight. I ain't hear nobody uh, crying about that. Rodrigo Ramirez is five-five-five-six fighting a six-one featherweight. I got a six-one and weigh one hundred and twenty-six pounds. Come on, come on. Stephen Fulton probably came in way bigger than now you and Louie Way. He still got the job done. Uh, Nonino Donaire came in way. He came in way bigger than um. You know, uh, uh, Nonino Donaire came in way bigger than now you and Louie Way. He still got the job done. Yeah, he got his orbital bone broke, but he still got the job done. He came in 20 pounds heavier than him, at least. That just lets you know Tank ain't got no confidence. And anybody co-signing that sucker shit with Tank, you ain't no real fight fan, bro. You ain't even no casual. You a pussy just like Tank. Nobody trying to hear that shit. Man, this shit been going on from the beginning of the time. Thomas Hearns, when his last stop was cruiserweight, bro. He started off at welterweight. Get out of here. Oh, Benavidez should be a cruiserweight. He shouldn't have to fight Canelo. Well, Canelo was a cruiserweight coming into the ring against Amir Khan. Where's the complaints? Come on. Like Cam Newton say, let's keep it funky. Let's keep it funky about all this. Let's keep it funky. And like Devin Haney said, he said, you know what? I didn't beat, uh, I didn't uh, bully. Uh, uh, Regis with my power, with my weight. I bully Regis with skill. He said, I beat Regis with skill, and that's right. But anything to diminish Devin Haney, I can't believe dudes be diminishing Devin Haney and then justifying Tank not fighting nobody. Like, bro, boxing is so backwards, dog. Boxing is so backwards. Anytime a fighter a threat, they start speaking against him. Well, Shaquille Stevenson, he he do. If you can make the weight, who cares? Oh, these dudes really should be at welterweight. Well, tell that to De La Hoya, man. What well, that nigga, a super featherweight, featherweight, big as hell beating guys? That's all I, that's all I want to know, bro. All that, I'm too small and all that shit, man. Get out of here. If a dude can make the weight, I ain't trying to hear it, bro. I really ain't. Because when guys like motherfucking Errol Spence and Canelo Alvarez was doing it, y'all ain't had nothing to say. But when it's Benavidez, when it's come to Canelo, Benavidez, when it come to Devin Haney and Tank Davis and everybody else, it's a problem now. If it's, if it's gonna be a problem, in your opinion, it should be a problem across the board. Not people saying, well, you know, I think the IBF, everybody should adopt the IBF rule. Not man, dude. When it come to your favorite fighter, then, you know, he he comes out, take and say, well, Eddie Hearn was going to let Conor Ben fight with Pez in his ass. Well, okay, well, okay, it is. I mean, you know, Canelo still signed with Al, Al, still signed Canelo, and he got popped hot. Come on, we don't even know if your ass is tested. Like Victor Conti said, you know, Devin Haney enrolled in doing vital for all his fights. What about Javante Davis? The loudest nigga in the room usually would be the dirtiest nigga out of all of them. How many times, you know, Al Heyman probably swept tech drug test allegedly up under the rug for y'all. Y'all don't even, y'all niggas don't even be testing, bro. Let's talk about how, you know, Keith Thurman and Adrian Broner wanted Manny Pacquiao to test and Al Heyman didn't make Manny Pacquiao test until it became public. Let's talk about that. Since you, I mean, I ain't want to defend Eddie Hearn at all, but we got to call a spade a spade. You know, most of y'all PBC ninjas wasn't even tested. Most of y'all PBC ninjas weren't even testing, bro. Tell me if I'm wrong. Adrian Broner came out and said that hell no, nah, Al ain't gonna let Broner uh, pack y'all test. Am I wrong? So don't be throwing rocks when you live in a glass house, homeboy. Y'all niggas don't even be testing over at PBC for you to have a complaint about testing. What well, we know your little yellow ass is on. Yo fat ass get up to 150, 162 probably. Probably 200 pounds, butterball ass nigga. Always talking shit. And then when you get around a nigga, you always put your head down. You got all this to say about Floyd. Floyd get in your presence, you put your head down. 
he put his head down like this. Little niggas, little nigga. When you said all that shit about Wilder, y'all was on the Fox, Fox set together. You know, I forget who was fighting, nigga. You ain't had none of that same energy. Niggas a little internet troll. Come on, man, nigga. You know, you know, tank supposed to be the street, nigga. Man, fuck out of here. Nigga grew up in a boxing gym. Street dreams is full of me. Get out of here, man. Nigga was a street. If he was a real motherfucking dog, he'd go ahead and clip Devin Haney wings. He'd tell Al Heyman to go make the fight. And like Devin Haney said, he said, when I got a fight lined up, Tank got a lot to say. When I ain't got no fight lined up, Tank, Tank don't, Tank be quiet as hell. And that's facts. That's what he do. That's facts. That's facts. What would you expect? He was grown by another scary ass nigga in Floyd Mayweather. Scary ass nigga want to, don't want, didn't want to fight nobody neither, dog. Nigga ran from Pacquiao for over half a decade. They ain't got in that motherfucker. It took him to prime. Start doing the Robert Kelly. Step in the name of love. Grabbed him the whole fight. He got hit one real time and started grabbing him. Daddy said, you scared? Hell yeah, he's scared. Scary ass nigga. Talking about he a uh, top 50 fighter of all time. Oh, fuck he ain't. If he is, he barely top 50 scary ass nigga. That's why Tank's so scary. And he ran from Lomachenko. What was the excuse to not fight Lomachenko? Lomachenko ain't on no snack. What he said, well, you know, I'm just, I'm getting younger. You know, I'm, you know, Lomachenko on the down, you know. He got man, fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. Get out of here. The boy is scary. The boy is scary. That is what it is, man. Let me know what your girls and guys think, man. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button. Hit the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance for notifications. We go live drop videos. Check out the box the playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all nine. Check out the box the playlist for more videos like this. Peace.